So, I'm not sure how familiar everyone is with the story of a man called D.B. Cooper. Basically, he was an American man who hijacked an airplane with a bomb inside of a suitcase. And when the plane landed, he received $200,000 from the FBI. After receiving the money, the plane flew off again to another location that he demanded. Now, during this flight, mid-flight, he opened the door and jumped out of the plane with a parachute and the money that he had just got. So, nobody knows for sure if he survived the jump or if he died. The ending of his story has always been a mystery. Now, in this video, I'm going to be telling you a story about a Filipino man who tried to pull off something similar similar to what D.B. Cooper did. The hijacking occurred on May 25, 2000 on Philippines Airlines Flight 812 from Davao City to Manila. Not too long before the plane was about to land, a passenger came out of the bathroom armed with a handgun and a grenade, demanding everyone to listen to what he had to say. The man's name was Reginald Chua. He demanded to be let into the cockpit of the airplane, but was rejected at first. He then threatened to kill the flight attendant if they didn't let him in. So eventually, they let him in the cockpit. The hijacker was telling the flight staff that he was in difficult times. He said his father was murdered and his family had left him. He also said that his wife cheated on him with a police officer. He said that he just needed money to plot his revenge. Reginald Chua then demanded the pilots fly back to Davao City. The pilots told him that it would not be possible as they did not have enough fuel. Now, what Reginald Chua does next is he grabs a bag and goes around the plane asking passengers to place their valuable items and money inside the bag. Once he had his bag filled up with valuable items, Reginald Chua pulled out his homemade parachute and decided that he was going to jump off the plane. I guess jumping off the plane mid-flight was his plan B? So he got the pilots to fly the plane to a safe jumping height and was ready to jump. A flight attendant on board helped open the back door so the man could jump off the plane. A huge gust of wind made it really hard for the man to jump out of the plane, so a flight attendant had to help push the man off the plane. So do you think he survived the jump or not? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but this story does not have a Hollywood movie ending, as Reginald Chua's body was found dead three days later, submerged in mud. And after some investigations, the police determined that he died because he failed to open the parachute during the jump. So I'm not sure if all the passengers got their stuff back or not, but I sure hope they did. The good news is none of the passengers were harmed during the hijacking. Well, except the hijacker himself.